Hi. Today I will show you how to turn this dull gray piece of styrofoam into a totally awesome hovercraft. We need a motor, radio equipment, a propeller, a servo, a speed controller, a battery, and some planks and screws. The links for all the equipment used are in the video description section. People ask, what do you use to charge this battery? I use this battery charger. It can charge the 11.1V 3S type batteries and 7.4V 2S batteries. The link for the charger is also in the video description section. Cut two 60 by 10 pieces of styrofoam and make their edges curved to reduce resistance. This should be enough. Take two more pieces of styrofoam, a bigger one and a smaller one. The size doesn't matter here. Glue them to the base and shape this piece like a car with a streamlined smooth front part. Make slots like this to strengthen the structure. The hovercraft should be very strong to endure jumps and bumps. It should be like this. This part is on the top. And this one is here. It should look like this. All the pieces are glued together, but we need to secure everything with screws. Use the longer screws here and a few shorter ones there. One screw at each side is enough. Make a hole for a stick here. Insert the stick in the hole and fasten it with the plastic corners. Use four screws. I had to use long screws because they are the only ones I had left. Fasten the motor and the propeller. Make sure that the edge of the fan almost reaches the base. It shouldn't be placed higher than the base. Like this. Lift the whole thing up, holding it by the motor. Nothing should fall off. Fix the rotation servo. Fasten the electronic parts with plastic ties. It's very easy. Use two ties here and one at each side here. Everything should be attached very tightly. Then the design is going to be sound. Fasten the servo arm and connect it with a paper clip to this plastic piece attached to the rudder. The hovercraft hardly fits onto the table now. Connect the propeller wire to channel 3. Channel 3 is for forward movement. The rotation wire is connected to channel 1. Can't wait to go outside and test the hovercraft on the snow. I use this remote. It's rather expensive, but I think it's worth it. If you're into crafting, you can make remote control boats, planes, cars, and quadcopters with it. I recommend using the remote because it's very functional. The link is in the video description section. It costs about $45. What would you like to name the hovercraft? Post your suggestions in the comments, please. The hovercraft moves very fast. There was an accident. It hit a rock. Oops. There's a small problem now. I guess I need to replace the corners and fix them tightly with glue, or attach metal corners here with screws. It should be easy to repair. I can show you how it works after repair on my vlog channel. Looks awesome to me. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. There's more where that comes from. See you!